Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room. What I come on today is I was asked by this company if I would have some of their products. I said yes, and it's not my usual crafting for my YouTube, but it is a crafting that I do while I'm watching the TV and, and I, it's a pastime for me and it's cross stitching I love doing cross stitching but I haven't done it for quite a, a while and I said I would love to do um, your products so they sent me these ones and they asked if I would show on my channel I said of course I would for you and if you go to their site I've got a coupon for you and you have 6% discount and I will leave the link to their web page in the description box and I will leave the discount code for you as well if you go on there and use their code you have six percent off and honest to god you would never believe the cross stitches are a reasonable price anyway and then with your code you will you won't be disappointed but the cross stitches they got on their site oh my god they are beautiful and some of them i have never seen anywhere else before but Ayo, these are the ones that they sent me. This one is a flower of happiness, and this is this one. This is beautiful, and of course, it's purplicious. So it could be any flower, but it's purplicious, and it's my flower. I love it, and I'll show you what you get inside when I show you them all. So this is this one then you get this one how beautiful is this one and this is you have these these are a set of four so you have that one there the red i think it's a red rose i think they're roses might be wrong then you've got this pink rose there how gorgeous and then you get the cow lily or a peace lily I call them I think I call them um, right is a pink uh, a peace lily I've got them in my pots in the house and I love them they are gorgeous but I'll show you what you've got in the kit in the kits and they come packaged lovely and you've got all the instructions on in there on the back as well how to do it if you've never done them cross stitching before that'll show you how to do cross stitching and these I think if you've never done a cross stitch before these are would these would be the easiest ones to do to start off with to be honest because they're not very not as big because they're 17 centimeters by 17 and it gives you all the is in the how to do it all the instructions and inside you get the pattern in there is your pattern you've got all the color symbols there okay so that's your pattern then you get 
all your colours are already done for you and that's unusual because they don't normally separate all your colours for you so there's all your colours already set uh, selected for you and separated and they're already numbered and then you get your two needles they're giving you two two needles then you get your aider that you're gonna sew on and it's already printed but don't go by that print go by your pattern I've always found if it's printed I've always gone by your pattern it's easier to go by your pattern than it is to go by your printer and when you do it always start at the center point so find your center point which is your red line on this one and then start off with on this would be the number six so you look at your number six on there which is this one and then find your number six on there and this this one and you use two two strands of cotton okay so you get your cotton or your floss as you call it get your cotton and then take two strands out this comes in six strands and then take two strands off and because it's quite long you only need to take one strand out and I'll show you and then put this back on your number six so you don't get that lost put that back on your number six okay and I'm just showing you and then I'm gonna fold this oh they got the center line for you there um I gotta find my needle now get my needle I'm just going to poke it through the oval. There you go. Get my cotton. And because it's in a long strand, you only need the one strand and double it. That's how I roll. Thread your needle. And because you're going to use the two strands, together okay like that and then your center point there is the 30 and you're going to start off with your number six which would be this one is the number six Okay, so that's smack there in the middle, there, radio, and then you're going to do your cross, let me just get my cotton in. And you go in to the from that square you're gonna go down to the bottom diagonal and then up to your next point and then cross over to the down one and there you've got your cross okay so that's your first one done that's your first one so then it misses two because they're number sevens 
and then you've got another number six so you're gonna gonna go one two one two see as i said this is on your pattern they've got the light blue of three and it's not on your pattern is three light blues and then it's different so don't go by your pat on your color because your color on your pattern is different to your pattern on your paper i've always found the pattern on your colors on your pattern is different to your pattern on your so don't take no notice of the colors on these to the color of your pattern go always go by your pattern on your your pattern on your paper than rather than this color because this won't match up with that okay so then you go number six so you've got one two three where am i gone now So I've got my number six there. So go one, two, three, and then another one in there. And I can't. So you go in the square. Go down to the neck opposite side. I think it's because I'm khaki handed. I do it the opposite way. So if you look on your on your sheet, they go. No, they they are doing it the same as me. That's okay. Because some people do it the other way. So they go one, two, and then up to three, and then back down to four. There you go. And there you've got your cross. And you do that so that's all covered in with all your different colours. And I'll come back when that's all done. And as I said, I will leave... leave that um, link to this site it's called um, seven I forgot now seven seven I don't know I'll leave the link in the description box with the code for you to get six percent off and have a look at all the different ones that you can get and I'm not going to do this one because I wanted to start this one first because I love it so I'm going to put this one to the side and I'm going to start this one because I wanted to do this one first because I love this one but then saying that it doesn't make no difference because I'm going to do them all anyway. So I might as well finish this one now I've started this one. And I've got a hoop. I've got a hoop. And I'm just going to put my hoop on. But don't forget my cotton is in there. So that's got to go in my hoop. First, I'll put my hoop on. So I'll do that before I forget. 
and the little spring come off now. Always the way when you're on camera. Oh, come on. Back on. So you don't need a big and bigger, a lot bigger than that hoop because they're not very big. But as I said, if you've never done a cross stitch before, you don't need too much of an experience. It's easy peasy to start off with these ones because you don't need that much of an experience to try these little ones because you can't go wrong with them if you follow this and what I do is if you want to save this pattern to do it again on a different piece I usually photocopy this and so I don't get muddled up which line I've done because I do it from line to line some people go the colour to colour I do it from line to line I cross it off what I've done but if you're not going to keep the pattern that's fine because you could keep the pattern and pass it on to somebody else that's good but if you're not that's fine you can cross that off so you know where you are because I'll get middle dip because I've done it before myself I've done that line and then when I go to to do another line say I'm up here and I've done that line and I goes to go to do the next line I've done that line again because I haven't crossed it off so that's just you know an idea for you just cross it off while you've done so you don't get muddled up so and then when you when you finish there's a little line that goes around and it's just one stitch in each one just to give you that line goes around it like you draw around it but it's just a little stitch all the way around it and it just pops it off that page like if you look on these you've got that faint line going around your picture and that's all it is it's just one stitch in all them and it makes your pit your sewing come pops off the line when i get to that point i'll come back on and i'll show you that when that's when i nearly finished that and when i'm on that stage I'll come back and I'll show you what I mean but that's what that is and it just makes it pop up off the material so yeah I mean a lot of this um, Ada a lot of them when you buy these patterns they don't print it on the Ada which I prefer really to be honest because sometimes you can see the colour come through on your sewing. So I'd rather it not be printed, to be honest. But it's, it's up to some people. Some people like it and some people don't. I don't like it, to be honest. But there you go. That's my wool. But they are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But as I said, I'll leave the description in the description box of the site and where you can get six percent off so thank you everybody for watching and please go over and have a look you won't be disappointed honestly you won't and i'm not saying it because of i'm promoting them 
if I wasn't promoting them, I would I'd still go over and have a look because they are stunning. The cross stitches that, that they are, I've got on their site are absolutely gorgeous and they they are reasonable priced. Cheaper than Hobby Craft and all them because they are unbelievable priced and they are lovely, really nice. I've never seen some of them on there. I've never seen before. So yeah, so please go over and check them out and have a look. You don't cost you anything to have a look. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my old ones. And I'll speak to you all soon. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you in the next video. So bye for now.